Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will work on toned paper together. So what is the difference between drawing on a toned paper and a normal paper? Basically, when you draw on white paper, you have to create your tones, your values with your pencils, like the mid-tones, dark tones, and the light, brighter tones. But in the toned paper, the mid-tones are already there, so you don't have to work that much. Well, depends. Uh, so you will have to only put the lightest and the darkest tones on your paper. What are these lightest tones, mid-tones, and the dark tones? Let me explain that too. When you look at actually a portrait and look at the face, you see that there are some parts that are brighter than the other places. Really bright, that's where the light reflects uh, from. So when you look at those areas, those are the highlights. They, they need to stay as, you know, light as possible. And when you look at the dark tones, the shades on the face, which are usually under the, you know, the, the neck area, under your chin, or sometimes depending on your, on your hair, it can be right here, uh, under or above the eye. Always these kind of parts in the, in your, not by, by your nostrils might be really dark. Um, so, you know, those darkest tones need to stay dark. And between those darkest tones and the lightest tones, there's always mid-tones. And mid-tones are very, very important because that's what, that what gives the realistic effect in your portrait. So today, uh, what am I drawing? <laughs> I'm drawing portrait of 10 friends. 10 friends is one of my favorite TV personalities. You know him from Cure Eye and Netflix. And um, today, actually this month is Pride Month, so I wanted to show my support uh, by just drawing his portrait on a toned paper and we will do it together. This is the final result. I hope you like it. I really like him. I really like the fact that he had to stand up for himself. Uh, and also, you know, he is very fashionable. He has his own brand. He's very hardworking. I hope he doesn't judge me if he watches this video. <laughs> try to dress up. So I really, really like him. Uh, that's why I wanted to draw his portrait today. And also you will learn uh, with this portrait how to do human hair because that beard took me almost an hour and a half. Yeah, I actually use three pencils. So one is white colored pencil, one black colored pencil, and I had charcoal pencil. At the very end, I used the white gel pen. It's right here. So if you want to know about charcoal, why I needed charcoal pencil for the darkest um, uh, areas, you can watch my video, I'm putting it right here, because it's important to know the difference between graphite and charcoal pencils. You can also learn information about tone paper again here, I'm gonna share it here as well. If you're ready, we can start drawing our portrait. I'm so excited about this. Guys, if you like this channel and if you like my videos, please, please don't forget to subscribe to show your support to me because it's very important. That makes me actually more uh, excited about uh, making my videos and showing you different things every Tuesday and Thursday. So let's start. I prepared my sketch from the grid method. If you don't know how to do it, definitely you should watch my video, which is in the cards above right now. You can click on it. I started with the lightest shades, the highlights. Um, as you can see, this picture is very bright. I think the light was really, really strong. So I had to play with the contrast a little bit to see where the mid-tones can be. Uh, in the beginning, I put too much highlight in and I'm gonna erase later as you will see. But because of this, especially on the right part of his face, you will see a lot of more, much more highlights. After I put in the highlights, I did the eye with the charcoal pencil. As you can see, when you use charcoal around the eye, it really makes it pop out. And you can see that it gives a more realistic effect. So here I erase a little bit because I realized I put too much uh, pencil in and I'm using colored pencil here. It's my black colored pencil. I'm, I'm preserving my mid-tones. I didn't touch some of the places on the face because I want to keep those mid-tones. But I am putting my black colored pencil on the areas that are actually really dark. 
I'm doing the second eye right now and putting in the eyebrows very carefully. Human hair requires a lot of attention. You have to put them, implant them one by one, and you need to follow exact direction of the hair growth with your charcoal pencil. And whenever you put in eyelashes or eyebrows, we have to make sure that our pencil is really, really sharp. Now I am almost done with the darkest sh sh shadows. I'm just putting them even like making them a little bit more darker. And uh, probably you noticed I've been using uh, some tissue paper and blending stump to blend those black colored pencil areas. I'm doing the ear. Ear has some highlighted and some dark areas as well. I'm just following my reference photo. The hair is going to be difficult, of course, because there is a lot of it. <laughs> but at the same time, it is important to follow the exact reference photo, the exact direction from the reference photo. I put in the lightest shades first, the white, uh, light gray hair. And then I went in with my charcoal pencil again to put in the darker uh, areas. I'm definitely following my reference photo. I'm I'm drawing from uh, from the root to the top of the hair and uh, following the direction of the hair growth. It is important to be true to the reference photo because um, you don't know if you try to change something from your mind, it might not look realistic or it might not look look like the actual person. So I am putting the the clothing part actually I just did with charcoal pencil because it's quicker and it's really really dark and those details on the lip lips are really really important again to give the realistic effect. Here was the most challenging part for me so I'm putting in the beard and the beard has very short hair so I was just basically putting pressure on the paper with my pencil and if there is a little bit longer i was just doing the medium length ones and i'm just basically making dots and little lines but definitely 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 following the reference photo those darker areas on the jaw i had more hair there uh, the picture has looking like a, a dancer um, hair um, there so i just was putting much more hair there than the other areas also in the neck area there were some hair so i also put them in one by one and once the hair is in guys you can see how realistic it is now it's almost done i'm gonna do the last touches i'm gonna make the eye white of the eyes a little bit more whiter darkest areas darker and i'm gonna go in and put more eyelashes in and i'll be done I hope you liked this portrait guys. I really enjoyed doing it and I hope you learn how to draw on toned paper. So please don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel and I will see you in my next video on Thursday.